What's up, YouTube? We're back with another episode. What the hell am I doing? Today I'm out exploring with Brandon, and I think we found a really, really cool one for you guys. It's a big farmhouse. It's a clean looking farmhouse. It's this place back here. I think we should go inside and see what's going on. But before I do, just want to remind you guys, if you could, please hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscriber, uh, subscribers. That's the goal for the channel. If you could please hit that button, it would really help me out. Let's go see what's inside this one. Okay, so we're gonna start this one outside the house here. Before we go in, I'm gonna show you guys around the property. See what we got here. This place is on a very big property and it's kind of up on a hill. This is the driveway or what was left of it here. But as you can see, it kind of winds down there. There's a couple houses that are down there as well, so stay out of the way but this is what we're dealing with here this big place here really beautiful looking place looks like they had well water here so that's cool we'll have to look into that more see if we find stuff in the basement for it let's just see what's out here before we go in we got brandon over here getting ready what's going on explorers i hope you're all enjoying this beautiful weather it's we're enjoying hot it and awesome i love it make sure you guys go check his channel out if you haven't He's on fire these days. Thanks, Greg. So over here, we got like a shed. Let's see what's in it. And because of Brandon, we're here today, so really go over there and subscribe to him if you haven't. So inside the shed here, this is a cool shed. I like how they made the walls out of cedar. You got some old cabinets in here. These might be leftovers from the bathroom or the kitchen. I wouldn't be surprised. That's what a lot of people do. And it's just a cool little shed to store stuff. You might have put a lawnmower or something in here. Got a bird's nest up there. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Like I said before, this is a gigantic property. I mean, I would love to live in a place like this where you have all this to yourself, all this silence. Nice big rock by the tree. Obviously, they had a garden here because it's starting to come back. That's cool. And they got their wood pile here for a fireplace, I would assume. I'm sure a place like this has a couple, probably even some stoves. What we got back here? This looks like it was like a garden area. Let's see. Yeah, it's just kind of a big area here. There's not really a whole lot to see. We'll look back at the house again. There's not a whole bunch to see on the other side either. Let's just go take a closer look at what we got over here. I'm not sure what this is. Looks like they had some kind of animals or something. Yeah, so they had something in here. I don't know if they had bunnies. You guys tell me. You know, some kind of a coop. Yeah, they had something in here, but I don't know what. Brandon's right here with us. You don't know what, they, what these are for, do you? Cages? Chicken. Chickens. That's Brandon's guess. I mean, it's all fenced in, so you never know. It could just be for dogs, but that one's weird. Yeah. That one's not the size for anything. And then they got a shed back there. Even the tree, they've got kind of covered in fencing, so things wouldn't climb it, so... I don't know. You got a dog in there. Little playpen there for chickens. That's a storage one. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably the best guess. All right, let's work our way over to the house. I think that's pretty much all there is to look at out here. That's the back side of that one there. Just more junk. Looks like they had some 
storage at the back or something. There's some hay in it, I can see. Don't want to walk into a fence. There's no fence. Yeah, see, so there's another, like, cage thing here. There's some hay in there. That's strange. I guess they had some animals roaming around. And what's funny, when we started off, we both walked through the wood like there was a fence. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there definitely was at some point. All right, well, this is the big, beautiful place here. We're going to check out. I think it's time we get her in her. Just show you guys the front real quick. So it looks like they had a garden out here at one point in time. Now look at this, they had stone. This was definitely a big garden at one point. So let's walk way through it. You had a fire pit here. And this is the front of the house here. I believe that's an add-on there. We go over here. Look at that old barrel. That's cool. But yeah, if you go over here, this is the original part of the house. And that'd be the oldest part of the house that I believe goes back to the 1800s. It's a huge tree. Just see if there's anything over here. You can see there's a busy road down there, so we're not going to go too far. But yeah, over here it's just kind of treed over. But yeah, that's the place there. So why don't we go inside, see what's going on. Okay, so we're inside the house. We're going to start this one on one side of the house, and we're going to end up working our way through the house to the upstairs and eventually the basement. And um, I think this entry point here would be uh, pretty much like a mud room, laundry room type setup. You can see that they had the dryer vent over here. They had a really, really nice sink set up here. Like, look at that. Even the faucet, that's very nice. And you've got these nice cabinets, which look fairly modern to me. And they, they move like they're fairly modern. Nothing in them. But I would say these cabinets have definitely been put in here in the last 10 to 15 years tops. Look at this beautiful wall. Absolutely stunning. Now this obviously was the outside of the house at one point in time. In this room here, it's obviously an add-on, obviously. This is south facing, so this is gonna get wonderful light throughout the day, especially at this point in the day, it's midday right now. But I like what they did here. This obviously at one point was a window, and they opened it up into a doorway, completely repurposed, without scarring the look of the wall. Yeah, I love this room, this is very cool. And if you look up, absolutely stunning pine ceilings. Even this barn wood wall here. Like, look at that. It's very cool looking. The paint job makes it look even cooler. You've got this cool bench here where you can sit down, take off your boots, or put on your shoes, or whatever you're going to do. You've got the coat hangers there. You even got a shelf for storage there. It's pretty cool. And if we go over this way, Looks like this is the garage, yes it is. So there's not much to see, but we'll still show you. We show you everything. We've got a garage with a Chamberlain power drive garage door opener, that's pretty cool. Those are not cheap. That's a nice door too. This is a fairly large garage. I don't know if I would call this a two car, but um, I mean, you might have been able to squeeze two in here, but it'd be better to put one and have some room for fun. You ask me. Over here, they have a little work area with a fake marble counter. <laughs> Some storage, that's cool. I like that. I always like it when you got a spot like that to work in the garage. Of course, we got a fridge that we got to open here. Let's see what we got here. Nothing in the top, nothing in the bottom. She's dirty, but not smelly or gross. That's a nice fridge, Frigidaire fridge, just to be sitting there like that. Hopefully it's going to get repurposed. All right, so let's go back in. That's a cool light up there. I like that. 
This house has got a lot of cool features again as we come in here. Just look at that. Beautiful. And if you hear that knocking around, I have a water bottle on me, so I do apologize. Oh, that's uh, they even got shelving along here. That's a nice touch. That's a really, really cool touch, I think. Okay, so let's go upstairs. Let's see what we got going on up here. We got these carpeted stairs. Okay, so we're in this upstairs room here. This is very cool. I guess this would have been like a guest room. That's a cool sconce on the wall lighting up the stairs, by the way. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. It's a nice, clean, open room. And I literally mean that. The doors are not here anymore, it looks like. Yeah, they're off the wall, so it's open to the world. Open to the elements out there. And I'll show you guys what the view is. It's a nice view. view out the window here well the doors I should say I guess at one point there could have been a, a balcony here which is no longer we've got a cool shed out there looks like they got some garden out there what a beautiful view this would have been what a room all right so we'll turn back around another thing I like about this room is that timber beam Running along the ceiling there, that's really cool. I've pointed those out before. I think they're really nice. Add some class to a room. Have timber beams on the ceiling. The windows are even new here if you uh, pay attention to the details. Oh, and there's a view along the addition back to the house. That's also very cool. It's a beautiful house. It's a very, very nice house, as you guys saw outside. All right, let's work our way back down. Now, apparently this place is uh, going to make way for new development, so its days are numbered from what I hear. I think this is an 1850s or late 1800s farmhouse, so I'll have to try to confirm that and put it in the comments for you guys. And that's a cool look at the uh, front window here. That's a very nice patio area. So... Yeah, I'll try to update anything I can't tell you in the video in the comments as usual. Let's go in the house, further in. This is a very interesting light, it's very, very big. Lighting up this little hallway here. Now I kind of like it because it reminds me of a sports venue light. <laughs> it's huge. I mean, that thing is really big and it's got a little tiny bulb in it. But uh, yeah, it lights up this little hallway here, which I believe at one point would have been Part of the original house, there's another addition through there. If we go over here, we got a washroom. And this washroom looks like it's been most recently renovated, I would think. You got some very modern looking floors, very modern looking toilet. You've even got these cool lights on the wall that look to have, I believe those are LED lights in them. The door is not new though. Look at that door. That's a solid door. We got some shelving on the walls in the corner here behind the door. I wonder what was there. Maybe they had a dryer and no, they don't have a dryer because there's no vents. I don't know what would have been there, but they have some kind of heat reflection on the wall. So if anybody has an idea, let me know in the comments. So let's check out the shower. I can see right away. It's got beautiful marble tile. Got a built-in, oh, that's cool, let's go right in. That's a very cool built-in uh, soap holder and you know shampoo holder, that's cool. I like that, I don't have that in mind. We got some nice Delta faucets here, very fancy. Even got the grip bar for safety. Shower head's missing, but you can see the pipe is still there, so that's good, I guess. It's a beautiful big shower, I really like that. Would have been great in the mornings coming out, looking at a great bathroom like this. Wonderful. Okay, let's work our way further in. So over here we got this fireplace room. Just gonna show you guys this room and 
let you take it in. Yeah, this is a great room. That's a wonderful bay window there. Giving this room tons of light. But just look at this fireplace. It's absolutely amazing. Those archways, unbelievable. And of course, I haven't even shown you guys the ceiling yet. Look at this. It's just amazing. You got a track light here. Even the wall, it's that old wood. Cool looking wainscoting going around. You got a stucco wall over here. Brandon's here with me if you hear him walking around. What's going on, boys? There he is. But yeah, look at this. Just absolutely stunning. I really love those archways and the doors, like the openings in the wall. Just absolutely stunning. Let's go over here. So over here, this would have been an addition too. Let me just adjust the brightness a little bit. So this is definitely a sunroom add-on to the house. This is a south-facing room. It's noon right now and the sun is dead center in the sky. So this is the full effect of what this room would look like as a sunroom. And as you can see, you got the original wall of the house here. And over here, they put in this beautiful stove. Oh, this would have been a great room. Just a great room. And they even got the firewood there. Like that's, <laughs> that's beautiful. And you look over here. Look at these beautiful windows. I'll just show you guys the scope of this. Absolutely stunning room. <laughs> just unbelievable. And even right there, yeah, you got more original wall. And of course they put these French doors in to enter the room. It's also got this great looking, I guess it's that terracotta type tile. I think that's what you call it. I really like this tile. We had this in our summer room at our cottage when I was growing up, this kind of tile. But it really works in this kind of room and it really ties together everything well with the brick. And that awesome wood ceiling. Just an incredible room. One of my favorite parts of this house so far. This room is stunning. And you go in here. And this room is stunning. Like just unbelievable. Really. What a room. What a couple of rooms. <laughs> Let's go further in. See what the kitchen looks like. So this is the kitchen over here. It's not the biggest kitchen, but the room still seems huge. And I'll tell you guys why. The ceilings in this place, especially over here are really tall. Like I would say they're at least 12 feet tall. Absolutely tall. Like if you look back at this ceiling, it's very tall too. But you turn around to the kitchen and it's just slightly taller. And it really gives the room a sense of size even if the room is not the most spread out or sized room. Sorry, it's the most spread out styled room. Let's go see what we got here. You can see there's another original door there. Wonderful old door. Very old looking handle on it, that's cool. And you've got uh, some modest looking countertops, but they've got these modern cabinets again. Kind of like that laundry room in the back there. You can tell these are newer cabinets, probably 10 to 15 years old tops. I have those same knobs on the ones that I have at home. So, you know, that's mid 2000s to me. I like the floating shelves beside the window here. That's really nice. And that's the view that they got from the kitchen sink. And as I always say, I love it when the kitchen's got a sink right by the window. I think that's the way to do it. So that's cool. If you turn around over here, this is where the pantry was, I guess. And they also had the fridge sitting in here. As you can see, with that incredible spelling, fridge. <laughs> But yeah, all these cabinets, I believe, are empty. Let's just take a quick look. Well, there's some oven pieces in there. But yeah, these ones are empty. You got some shrink wrap there. 
These don't even have the handles on them anymore. I'm not even sure they finished installing this stuff. Yeah, nothing's got anything. Well, that handle was taken off. So yeah, they might have finished it and they just took what they took. Well, yeah, everything's pretty empty, unfortunately, but this house is in stunning shape. It's a beautiful home and it's just, this is amazing to see, I think. So over here would have been like the dining area. It had to be. You've got a beautiful chandelier which is really classy for the area. And you've got these big, beautiful farmhouse windows with the wonderful trim that I love. Look at that. And this one again was formerly facing outside, but now faces into the sunroom with that cool stove on the other side. And every dining room should have this look, I think. The wainscoting, it's just so classy. Goes around the room, ties it all together. And there's a view of the kitchen from the dining area. And again, this is the other wall. Beautiful wainscoting really ties it together. So this goes out to the main hall here, where you can see the beautiful farmhouse stairs. It goes to the front door. I notice it also goes this way. So let's check this route out. Okay, that's the basement. We'll go down there last. That's a nice old door. I really like that. Look at this room. Massive room. Again, the tall ceilings really pull it together. Um, it's got the awesome farmhouse windows I love. I always point these out to you guys, but I really love them. They're huge. They're tall. They let in a ton of light. That one's open. It's letting in a nice breeze. It's just great. But the best part about this room, look at this bookshelf they built in. <laughs> Just stunning. I mean, seriously, that is amazing. Brandon was saying earlier, it would have been nice if they had opened up the middle for a TV. Now as a TV guy, I kind of agree, but I also like the look of it as a full bookshelf. There's nothing in there, it's empty. But yeah, it's very cool, very classy. Definitely gives an elegant look to the room. I just noticed there's no curtains on the windows, but they had nice curtain rods up there to hang curtains over these. Yeah, these, these would, windows would have been beautiful dressed up. They got a French door here, <laughs> but this is kind of funny. They have a track for the door to slide on. Look how it's just kind of mounted on the top here. A really goofy manner, really. I mean, I'll show you guys how it works. Slides over. But it looks like that. So, you know, that's kind of goofy. I think a pocket door would have worked better here. That's my personal opinion. That's to look through that door across the other side of this house, basically. Very cool. Okay, let's work our way to the front here. So this is the front door. Right here, you got a beautiful stone entryway. I really like this. You got the old hardwood floors that they've painted. Oh, by the way, these floors are all original in this room. Distressed and beat up, but beautiful. I don't like it when they paint them like this, but I do like this stone entryway. I wish it went a little further, but I think that's pretty cool and it adds a lot of class to the house. So well done on them for that. Check out this beautiful French door, front door. It's got a nice screen door outside on the other side. It's got some very old school looking stained glass up there. And look at that wood trim just going around and everything. It's just so, it's so old school, but it's so awesome. So that's pretty cool, I think. And if you turn around, this will go to that room that we were showing you, showing you a little bit before right there so that goes over to the dining room area that we were in and the kitchen and these stairs here go upstairs and these are some of the nicest farmhouse stairs I've seen now you guys know I like them if you've watched this channel I point them out all the time I just love the way they look but look at these ones the railings are perfect it's just beautiful and they got wainscoting going up the stairs too. Let's see upstairs. I 
That's a cool door. Look at that old door lock. Huh. I like those glass handles or crystal handles. Yeah, so that's a linen closet at the end of the stairs here. We got some carpet on the floor. Maybe that was down at one point in time everywhere. Over here, another great door with an awesome old handle. It's got a lock from the outside. <laughs> I'm not sure why. <clears throat> yeah, so this is your typical farmhouse room at the corner of the roof. It's got that shape to the ceiling. It's got a nice big fan. That would have been nice with the window open. And that's a hand painted mural. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, that's a cool mural. You got the trees, the birds, deer. <laughs> that's cute. I like that. Again, yeah, look at that railing, the vanity. It's just, that's awesome. It's worth pointing out every time. The floors up here are stunning too. They're the original floors. I love those original farmhouse floors. Very nice bathroom. Got wainscoting going around the bathroom here. They wasted no expense in this house in terms of doing wainscoting. Everywhere has it. The stairs, every room. It really ties the house together and it's really a good look, I think. Again, this is in the corner of the house. So you've got that weird roof shape, but it's cool with that light. You got the triple light above the, uh, the sink. Well, what was the sink at one time? It's gone now. <laughs> and you got another modern looking toilet. So, you know, this bathroom's seen some renovation too. Obviously the windows are newer. They still have that original farmhouse trim around them, but the windows are modern. And again, uh, I'll show you outside real quick. That's looking across to the addition that we were in before. We were looking over here from that window. All right, so let's check out the rest of up here. It's a very nice floor in the hallway here. It's well lit. I'll show you guys this window. It's got some stained glass, which is cool. I don't have my glasses on right now, but I believe it's green, pink, purple, I think. That's a look out the window. Right now there's no leaves on the trees, but in a month or two, this will be stunning. Again, they've got wainscoting up here too, running along the whole hallway. It's a really nice touch, especially everywhere in the house. It really ties it together. So this would have been another spare room. It's in the corner of the house again, as you can see. That's an interesting looking wall. Is that actually wood? No, it is not. It's laminate. So it's laminate panels. But it looks a lot like the wood you'd see downstairs or in other parts of this house, so. That's a good, uh, a good mirage, good play on them. It fits in well, it looks cool. I don't think that'll look tacky in time. Over here, closet's been gutted a bit, but Looks like at one point there might have been doors going across. You got your shelving. You got your original unpainted floors in there. It's kind of a shame they painted them. They look better unpainted. And they've got this built-in dresser, I guess. There's nothing in it. But it's cool, built-in dresser with some storage space there. I love how they maximize the space in these places. I think that's just awesome. Okay, let's go see this room and then we'll work our way down. <clears throat> so, sorry, let's see this room. <clears throat> okay, so let's go this way now and see this room and then we'll work our way down. Okay, so this is another modestly sized room. This looks like a kid's room from the color. I don't have glasses on. It's either pink or peach. I can't tell. Or cream. I think it's pink. I can tell that the door is not the same color as the wall, but to me they're close, but I don't think that is the case. <laughs> you guys will have to tell me in the comments or the chat. And this room has a cool mural too. It looks like it's very similar to the one in the other room, so I'm assuming both of those were kids, or both of these are kids' rooms. You got the mural with the bird, and that cute little deer again. 
I like that. That's very nice. That would have been nice for some kid to wake up to every day. Yeah, it's a cool little room. Okay, so let's work our way downstairs now. Let's see what the basement's all about. Okay. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this house. Do you guys like these clean old farmhouses? Or do you like them when they're a little rougher? Okay. So this is the entrance to the basement here. It doesn't look to be flooded from what I can tell. So let's go down and see. Right away, I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a big cobweb all through there. Okay, let's go down and see what we got down here. We got storage here at the end of the stairs, which is cool. We got all the paint for the house. All the, share, the stairs are moving underneath me. I gotta duck down to get down here. All right, we're down here. It smells like the, uh, the oil tank, which is typical. That's a big wood beam there holding up the house, so it's old enough that they're using those. It's an interesting looking foundation. It's obviously stone, but I think they've covered it over and probably sealed it at some point. And what I like down here is you got like the stone flooring. You got a freezer here. You know what I have to do. There's nothing in it. So over here we got the electrical panel. Yeah, so that's sunroom. We had a studio upstairs, I guess. Okay, kids room, kids room. Yeah, so there you go. You could here, I'll change this. If you guys are curious of what the house had. Well, that spider's in the way, but yeah, there you go. You can pause that. You can see what all the rooms were. They had a studio. One of those rooms was classified as a studio on there. So that's cool. All right, so we'll go over here. This wood shelf has seen better days. It's starting to tilt. Oh, yeah. So this is where the boys came down to play. Got another wooden shelf. Now, this must have been the workspace because you've got an old counter. This definitely was from the kitchen or the bathroom at some point in time. And they repurposed it down here to be a workbench because everybody does that. That has a house. And you've got all the paint. And you got some tiles and stuff in here to repair the house. Some Febreze. Look at this old beam vacuum. I bet you that's an 80s vacuum. I'm sure somebody will know and leave a comment. But... If I remember correctly, that's that's like a mid-80s vacuum. And then they got this work area over here, which is also very cool. It's huge. They got some shelving. They got pegboard. Every shop, I think, should have pegboard. I don't have a big work area in my house, but I have pegboard up, and it's very handy for hanging things and organizing things. So, yeah, this is a very cool shop area. Very big shelf. Lots of storage space to hang things from. You can see they broke through the original foundation at some point in time. Sorry, the camera's a little wobbly. And that's the original foundation or wall there. And if you come over here, you've got Simcoe water. This is like lake water, I guess, that they're bringing in. Simcoe water solutions. Yeah, these are filled with water, I think. So I guess they're bringing the water in from somewhere. And it's going through the water softening process before it's used in the house. And over here, they have a sump pump. And there is water down there, but it's it's about a foot down, so it's no danger of flooding. We'll go this way. These are the stairs we came down the left. Over here we got the furnace. And I think this might be it. Yeah. The furnace is right here. Uh, somebody serviced it in November of 2017, so this house has probably been abandoned since around 2018, I would think. All right, everybody, that's going to wrap it up for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this explore. This place was really cool. This room, this room was really cool. And so was that one back there. But yeah, this place was absolutely insane. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please make sure you hit that like button. And I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. That's my next goal for the channel. If you have not hit the subscribe button, please do. Help me get to this goal. Let's get there so the Explorers can get even bigger. 
That's all the time we got for this one, though. So make sure you hit that subscribe button there. Check out the last video there. Check out the random video up there. Hit the like and comment. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for tuning in.